GMOs are genetically modified organisms and they can be created in a variety of different ways. They can be either crossbred through hybridization or they can be created through bioengineering. The number one misconception is people think that GMOs are unsafe for human consumption and the environment. What's interesting about bioengineered organisms is that we are creating new organisms with traits that come from other organisms. We don't create new traits, we don't create new DNA. Same thing with crossbreeding. Crossbreeding is taking two different plants or two different uh, parents and then picking those particular traits that are useful and then combining them into the offspring. GMOs and also bioengineering uh, is a result of years of research that are conducted at our land-grant institutions across the nation at Auburn, at Alabama A&M, and across the state. And this is a culmination of years of work, and uh, they look at things that will help the farmer, but also help our environment as a whole. We have uh, 12 greenhouses here, and we have our hands in a little bit of, of everything ag-related, from forestry, turf grass, agronomy and soils. Research for us has kind of boomed, uh, which, is, which is good for, for you and I, and, that's really where we feel like we kind of fit in the middle a little bit. GMOs provide just one gamut for the farmer. And the main thing that GMOs do is remove, remove their amount of input that they have to do in their farm. So that's less cost for them as well. And they can best manage their environment and their soil and their crops without losing so much um, revenue. GMOs is one way of the future. There are a lot of different technologies that are out there that are available to the farmer and that universities are working on currently. So it's, it's, a, it's a one piece of a whole toolbox that can help the farmer in the future, but it's very important. GMOs have provided a means to increase soil moisture, uh, increase the health for the actual soil itself, also increase yields with working with best management practices, also reduce the amount of CO2 in our atmosphere because farmers don't have to go into the fields as much to spray and manage their fields. So we also have the reduction of pesticide and herbicide use as well. When you go into the grocery store and you see a label that says non-GMO and it's implying to you that well this has another counterpart that is GMO so I have to find non-GMO products. Well that's just not the case because you don't have to be afraid of non-GMO products. There's only 11 GMO products out there and the majority of the time you're not going to find them in the grocery store you'll find them in processed foods. Why did I choose agriculture? I think part of it is, is just my background. Uh, my family was in, in agriculture in, in the Philippines, tropical agriculture. I was raised in a state that was primarily agriculture and also my love of science and really my, my drive to help and make a difference. 